Okay, water signs, what it do, what it don't. I'm here beginning, 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 begin that. Begin something. There's something you need to start, something you need to begin. Okay, I do have some channel messages. I was getting the energy of the moon card. So, repressed feelings. Somebody here is repressing their feelings. They're hiding from something, hiding from someone, or hiding their feelings. I'm getting the energy of somebody here who's very quiet. At one point in your life, you could have been very talkative. Kind of like the one that put people in your business. But not really understanding, like, things are best um, known in secrecy. You could even be suffering some sort of financial hardship right now, and it's making you drown in your emotions because I was getting the energy of drowning. This could be a physical drowning. Condolences to whoever's going through that, and my condolences also go out to whoever is mentally drowning because I, I understand how that can suck you in. I understand the... It's like somebody here is very depressed. They have a depressing energy. They tell themselves a lot of depressing shit. And it's not on purpose. I don't know why I'm hearing that. It's not on purpose. These could be projections as well. People are projecting their energy on you. And you may be an empath that don't understand that you're picking up other people's energy. Now I'm hearing OPH, other people's hair. That may be very significant too. I do remember learning one time that... When you wear, like, other people's hair, and what I mean by it is not braiding hair, not things that you could braid your hair with. But it's like, and then I just saw the, the Ten of Pentacles. So that's giving me, like, the energy. It's like, when you wear other people's hair, you don't know what those people have been through. And y'all got to understand, energy is not killed. Energy don't die. It's just transformed. It's transmuted. It's turned into something else or it goes someplace else. When you die, your body is what dies. But your spirit, your soul, it never dies. The energy that you carried walking this earth, those are the energies that you tend to follow along after you leave this earth. So make sure that you're at a high vibing energy so that way you can vibe high when you you know die when you ascend or you're gonna descend i don't know where that came from but like i was saying when you wear other people's hair you have the energy of that hair on your head so when you be wearing wigs and stuff and i'm not telling you to stop doing you this may be a way you make your money but that hair if it's actual real hair if it's actually human hair that hair carries energy so be mindful of that, okay? I was getting Pisces. I was getting Cancer. So you may be a Pisces or a Cancer or dealing with one because cross-watchers are wel welcome. Something about mothering skills, not wanting to be like your mother, not wanting to do something like your mother, or this could be you being just like your mother and you're your mother's child and there is something that you need to learn from your, you guys' dynamic. I also pick up too, you're may, maybe you're trying to improve your mothering skills. You're probably about to be a new mother because I was getting the energy of lactating boobs. You could also have a twin, somebody who picks up on your energy. Their boobs could be lactating because you're pregnant or vice versa. Yeah. Okay, so you got d defeat in reverse and relationship in reverse. Well, that's not what I meant to say, y'all. Sometimes I be saying stuff, channeling one thing and saying another. Because right now, I'm, I'm being used as a vessel. Like, the spirits take over my body. They say what they want to say. This could be, like, your energy or something you can do. A gift that you have that you need to tap into. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, there's a risk you need to take. Luck is on your side at this time. But you got the Five of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there was some sort of relationship dynamic here that wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. This could have also been the masculine and feminine within yourself. I'm seeing the Three of Swords, so it's like head over heart. Something wasn't equal. Something wasn't compatible. This also speaks to uncuffed, um, happy couples. This, this two of cups in reverse. But I also feel like within this dynamic, you reach some sort of peaceful resolution. I feel like that resolution 
has something to do with you moving on and making compromises with yourself. No longer compromising and sacrificing you for the next person or the next energy or these people you so-called love. Okay, both of these cards speak to Venus energy. I'm hearing Venus and Mars. So look up those um look up those in your chart. You could even be dealing with the Aquarius. I feel like this person was very um non-committal, very fickle. I feel like you just kind of ended it. You and this person could have did a lot of fighting. You could have felt like very defeated, but I feel like you surrendered to something. You surrendered to change or you surrendered to the truth. I'm also getting like a soul searching journey. This could also be a way of thinking. I don't know why I'm getting like somebody here was trying to build a business, build a business from ground up, build a business from scratch. But it's it's like you were putting people in your business, telling them, and they weren't really happy for you. It's like somebody here want, wanted to take something away from you. And it's so funny because I recorded y'all video already, but I just didn't feel confident about it. Something just kept telling me to redo it. Redo it. So somebody here is not feeling com confident or comfortable surrounding something that they need to do. Something needs to be done. Whoever you are, you're very creative. You got the magician. I don't think you... Or I'm, I'm hearing like you had a realization when it comes to realizing that you carry your own power. You don't have to seek validation or look for other people to, you know, feed your ego or feed this thing where you had, where you felt like you had to be accepted. One stands for a new beginning, starting something. I'm also getting into like building a skill, realizing that you are very magical. Okay. You, you could be like someone that's a smooth talker. Something about your willpower as well, like I'm getting chariot energy, so forward movement fast movement is as well something about going the right direction i'm hearing like you're on the right direction you're on the right path i feel like you learned a lesson around toxic relationships because somebody has some sort of illusion going here it's like whoever this is used to make you feel really depressed because whoever this is i'm talking about they always depressed it's like they don't really have anything going on with their life. And they saw a power in you you didn't see in yourself. But instead of them appreciating, they took advantage of it. You could be someone that's very kind. And people may take that as a weakness. Yeah, you got the lover's card with the six of wands. I don't know why. Somebody here wanted you to fail. I'm I'm also seeing somebody jogging. So somebody could be like on a weight loss thing or trying to get your health right. I'm also getting to you recognized yourself. You recognize some sort of power that you had. You start putting yourself on a pedestal. I just I just get the energy of like you're reclaiming your power. Somebody here is something about a celebrity and having fans, supporters, being on a spot, being in the spotlight. This may be something you're walking into, or there was some sort of gift that you have that wasn't supposed to be exposed to you until you start walking in your power and letting go of burdens letting go of other people's burdens because i feel like whatever this energy is it was being like you were being overburdened like you felt obligated to something and you realize that you're not obligated to shit you, you realize you ain't obligated to nothing or nobody but only you 
I definitely feel like you're working on your finances at this time. I'm also hearing inner strength. Taking control. I'm also getting two. Somebody here had a really big ego. And I feel like you tamed the beast. This could have even been your own ego. I got two Leo energies out here. A Sagittarius. I got Cancer. I got Aquarius. Take the energy how it resonates. But I just feel the energy of like self-fulfillment. Somebody here is focused on their passion. What they're passionate about. You could also be a very passionate person. Somebody here loves animals as well. Very brave. It's like you're willing to take a risk. But it's like that's something that you had to learn about yourself. Something that you realized. Like this could be something people around you realized and they knew this for a long time. They was afraid of you finding who you are. They was afraid of you stepping into your power. Because whatever this is, it's going to bring you some sort of fame and some money. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're very self-sufficient. But for a long time, you could have been codependent. It's like your one of your strengths is independence. But circumstances, people, places taught you that you needed something or someone. And it took you to go through these trials and tribulations with these people and learn these lessons in order for you to learn. Anytime you're dependent on someone else validation it overburdened you and i hope i'm explaining that the right way it's like anytime and it's because you're a people pleaser whoever you are it's like you want to please people you always saying yes you want to always say yes you got three yes cards this card is no upside down is a yes everything out here says yes even this card says yes even though it's upside down it's like you were saying yes to everything. Yeah. Yes. You got the sun card here. That means I'm right on the money. I'm getting something that's halfway through, halfway done, halfway. You got three major arcanas out here. I just heard self-love, big happy changes self-expression doing something that makes you express yourself creativity i just hear like somebody here is standing in their powerful they're standing in their power and they are powerful you could definitely have leo highly expected in your chart you got success success what the strength breeds success. Like, I just feel like somebody here just gave in the towel. They surrendered to the divine. And they're allowing things to just come to them. Like, I'm getting, like, empress energy. You're just allowing things to come to you. Or there's a need for you to loosen up so this can happen. No more juggling. You could be somebody that actually knows how to handle, like, Doing a lot of things at once. Like I'm getting like a multitasker. Give me one oracle card. Which oracle deck do I want to use? Somebody here could be an oracle. Or something about speech. I'm going to use this one. I just got these cards today. I'm just going to see what comes out. The first card is growth. So... Yeah, growth and transformation. You got afterlife. Wow. I wonder what that means. It's 20, judgment. I'm getting like rebirth. You got new dawn and afterlife. So I feel like you went through some sort of major transformation here. And then you got sanctuary. You could have even been celibate for a while took your sex away i'm also getting raw power like naked power somebody here feels very powerful while they're naked i'm also getting to something is emerging out of the water so it's like i feel like somebody here is coming up out of their feelings and living more emo like less emotional and more logical and it was like a hidden strength for you 
somebody here is also going to have a very powerful, powerful son. Make sure you keep up with the dates and what time this baby was born. It don't matter who you are, you should do that because it helps the kid learn who they are and that they birdle, birdle, natal chart. So make sure y'all you doing that, like keeping up with what time they was um, born and stuff. Because if I knew, baby, listen, <laughs> I would know way more about myself. I only know what I know based off of what I know about my birthday. I don't even know what time I was born, what time of the day. I don't know. My parents didn't keep up with that type of stuff. But I'm definitely going to do that for my kids so that way they know who they are. So keep that in mind. But I love you guys, Water Signs. Keep up the great work. Stay persistent. I see you healing. You're doing it so beautifully. Something new is definitely coming. I'm hearing coming in the mail for you. So check your mail. I'm seeing a check. <laughs> But anyways, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.